Today we're going to be doing a flash tutorial show you how to do this. I call it all eyes on me function and it'll show you how to use ActionScript 3 to make all eyes on the screen follow the the mouse and it's not a whole bunch of lines to rotate each eye what we're doing is setting up an array you see this eye array there's all six eyes their name their instance name is in that array and then I can for loop over those eyes when I need to because they're in an array for loop iterates over arrays so I can access each eye in the eye array and that's how it works now I'm gonna explain this code just a little bit better to you because some of you guys might not know what the math.attan2 does or math.py rotation is pretty obvious that rotates an object but you have to get the correct degrees to rotate that object before you can set the rotation property to some value and that's where math.attan and math.py come in to first get the radians then the degrees alright so let's break this down alright let's see let's get it line by line so you can see it very visually separated there okay there you go now as I stated before we have an array object here it's got a variable name of I array and you can pack 50 or 1000 or 100 eyes or whatever you want in there or just two if you're just gonna have one set of eyes oh and before I go any further with the code explanation I want to show you in here you can go into your eyes and you, you can see what I did it's just uh, three spheres one on top of the other and you have to make sure you set your eye towards the right and when I made my little movie clips all I did was make sure it had a center registration you know when you have a circle on stage you right click it you convert it to symbol and then you have the ability to set registration all of mine have a center registration so that's all you need to know about these movie clips is that inside of them there's just three spheres or three circles regular drawing objects inside of them and when I created them or really I just made one master eye and just copied it six times there but when I created them I made sure they had that center registration it's very important okay now what I wanted to show you is you can go in there and you can have these positioned anywhere you want that way maybe it's not such a dramatic effect of how the eye uh, revolves around and follows the object so let me show you what I mean so you can see now it's more like an eye to where it's looking in a certain direction and not so much a rotating factor so if I move these way out you can see it would be more like a turret where it's going to point and shoot at something you see so the way you adjust your little circles in there really has a big effect or has an impact on the way those things appear to revolve and rotate okay now back to the code so like I said all your eyes you pop into your eye array then we add an event listener to the stage and that event that we're listening for is the mouse move event so whenever the mouse is moving this function is gonna fire off called all eyes on me because we have an event listener on the stage for mouse move so anytime the mouse moves from one pixel position to another this function is gonna execute so function all eyes on me is set up right here you can see within that is my little for loop and like I stated before the for loop is set up to iterate over an array and within the parentheses for this for loop you can see we're establishing a little string variable called i for each i instance of i that is in this i array so as it comes and passes through this loop i1 and i2 and i3 it's gonna have a temporary string variable name of i that we can use to access the arrays object indexes actually this should say a because that's not x that should say b and down here this should say a and this should say this is just basic math now these are the only two tricky lines really the one with the math.attan and the math.py so I'm gonna skip over those two I'm going to explain those very last and then this one this very last line is the one that sets the like I said before if it's I1 passing through the loop that's going to be represented here I1's 
rotation is going to be equal to the degrees that we use these math calculations to acquire. Okay, let's take a look at this first line that might be tricky to some newcomers. This one is a variable that we're naming radians, and this is also a number, but actually you don't even have to specify the variable type. It'll typecast for you automatically. That's going to be a number. This variable radians is equal to math.etan. So you're using the math.etan method and you're supplying it to number variables. Those number variables that we got right here, you see? You're supplying math.etan method with two number variables. Mouse diff A and mouse diff B. Now let's take a look at what mouse.etan is so you guys understand fully what's going on here. I'm going to go into my help file in Flash, and you might get ushered. You might be ushered to the online version of the help file, but that's why I was using uh, Flash CS3 because it has the help file in the program. So I can just go into the help file and I can type in math.atan2. Well, let me just look up atan2 and see if that gets me anything. There we go. And actually, we can just click on the math class. So you can see down through here. One of the methods for the uh, math class is a tan2. And let's read what it says. It computes, and you can see we're feeding it the required y number and the x number in our code. So let's read what it says. It computes and returns the angle of the point y by x in radians when measured counterclockwise from a circle's x-axis, where the zero, 0 position represents the center of the circle. So to put that in terms that more people can understand, math.atan2 is for finding the angle of rotation. That's as easy as I can explain it. Okay, so that shows you what math.atan is all about to get the radians, the angle of rotation. Now the next line, we have a variable that we're assigning a name of degrees. And the equation that's happening here is, here's our radians value that we got from using math.atan divided by this expression here on the right. And this expression reads math dot pi divided by 180. So radians divided by the outcome of this expression. All right, so that's basic math. You're just dividing radians divided by the outcome of this expression. And then inside of this expression, you can see it's math dot pi divided by 180. So all you need to know is what the hell is math dot pi doing? Okay, so let's go and check that out too. So let's go into the help file again, flash help, and you can see here there's math.py. You can see it clearly states that math.py represents approximately 3.14. So you all know the value that pi represents. So when you see that in ActionScript, then you know math.py, that's representing approximately 3.14, blah, 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 blah. It's a number divided by 180. So now you see this exact equation. It's the radians that we got from using math at 10 divided by the outcome of 3.14 divided by 180. That's it. So that's how you get your degrees. And then you rotate each eye within this loop, which is the happening every time the mouse moves. You're going to move each eye. Each eye rotates to the proper degrees that it needs to according to where it is and where the mouse is. All right, let me wrap this back up. And that's only 12 lean little lines of code there, buddy. That's very lean work. Very efficient too because this will power 50 eyeballs if you want. Or like I said, if these things are turrets, you can have a lot of turrets on the screen and use just that little bit of code to manage rotating all of them towards an enemy or whatever you got going on. Let's take one final look. So that's the all eyes on me function. And we'll have this source file along with this script at the page uh, at develop PHP where uh, all the other crap is. Okay, bye bye.